Welcome to Interbike 2016. My name is Toby and this is Kenny. We are from SQLab and we would like to show you the, our newest uh, ergonomic products. Here we have the new ErgoWave design shell. This uh, shell was developed with the University of Frankfurt and it was developed to create a more dynamic seating position. So a saddle which allowed you to go from, from a more upright position to a more aggressive position and still have a nice interface with the saddle and your sit bones. Uh, this model comes in two different models, the 611 and the 612. The 611 is the mountain bike version. It's got a slightly wider and longer nose, so it gives you more support for sliding forward on mountain bike climbs. This is our lightest model at 150, about 150 grams, is our carbon railed non-active model. The 612 is more of a road and cross country version. It's got a little narrower nose and slightly shorter. Uh, this is our carbon and active version, which weighs in at about 225 grams and has our active system, which allows for, for uh, movement of the saddle shell, which helps to alleviate pressure on the sit bones and spinal cord. So these are our inner bar ends. We put the bar ends on the inside because the handlebars are getting wider and wider. So you have uh, uh, more comfort here when you touch the inner bar ends because it's a totally different pressure points here on the hand. And at the same time, it's, it's, it's a performance product because you're getting more aerodynamic on these wide handlebars. You're pretty much in the wind. With the inner bar ends, your elbows go to the inside and you're more on a dry position. Um, which uh, yeah, makes you faster. We made a study on the track and uh, it saves up to 5% of energy with, uh, with uh, the inner bar ends here. They sell for 49 US dollars, so it's not a big investment. Uh, having a properly fit saddle is key because if the saddle isn't properly fit then, and you're not supporting your sit bones, then you're gonna get pressure on the perineum area. You can see the pelvis here sitting on the saddle and in a more upright position you sit in a much wider part of your sit bones and as you go into a more aggressive sitting position you go into a narrow part of your sit bones as you roll into an aggressive road or tri position you're almost onto your pubic bone so super important to get a saddle which properly supports your sit bones and thus reduces pressure on your perineum the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure the sit bones for proper fit on the SQLab fit bench. I'm gonna take this piece of transfer paper and put it on the fit bench. And I'm gonna come around, I'm gonna square myself so I'm sitting down in a, in a uh, straight position and place myself on the paper, put my feet up on the bar and pull down on the bench and thus creating uh, the imprint of my sit bones. We're gonna take the, the imprint and we're gonna do a quick center to center measurement. I am the perfect fit, uh, SQ Lab customer since I have wide sit bones and also crooked sit bones. You can see, I'm um, gonna take the fit uh, measuring card and we're gonna measure my sit bones at just about 12 and a half centimeters, uh, maybe slightly more. After this, we're gonna take uh, a look at my riding position. I typically ride uh, mountain more than I do road. I also ride road as well. And I actually ride in about the same position on both my mountain bike and my road bike, which is this number two position. Here we see the tri position is zero and the comfort position is plus four. That means if you're riding in an upright position like this, we add four centimeters to the seating area so I have enough room to support my sit bones. Since I ride in this number two position, I'm gonna add that to my width of 12 and a half centimeters and that's gonna give me 14 and a half centimeters. So typically we round up rather than down, since sometimes if we round down, we can still have too much pressure on the perineum. If we round up, we make sure we have plenty of room to support the sit bones. Um, so thus, with 14 and a half, I get, uh, would ride a 15 centimeter saddle. So once we've obtained the, uh, the sit bone distance for the rider and we've asked crucial questions about what kind of saddle issues that might, they might have, then we're gonna come over to our saddle selection and we're gonna choose a saddle which works for the, the rider and uh, works with their uh, sit bone distance and also helps to alleviate any of the issues they might have in riding. Um, since I'm mostly a mountain biker, I'm gonna pick the 611 ErgoWave saddle, which is a new saddle for us. It's a mountain bike saddle, um, slightly wider nose, slightly longer for, for uh, steering and climbing, and features our 
uh, SQ Lab Active System. So the Active System ex is exclusive to SQ Lab saddles, something that really nobody else offers. Um, we have an elastomer here, which helps to dampen and and either stiffen or soften the movement in the in the Active Design. So. The elastomer comes in three durometers, including a hard, a medium, and a soft. The gray is a medium, and typically we base that on, on weight of the rider. So for riders that are, say, over 195 pounds, we recommend the hard elastomer, and for lighter riders that are, say, uh, 120 or so, we, we recommend the, the, the softer durometer. So we offer uh, four different sizes per model, depending on your sit bone distance. Uh, 12 centimeters through 15 centimeters for our performance saddles. Thanks for joining us at Innerbike 2016. Please visit sqlab.com and prost.